everyone in this video we're going to be looking at effective lengths and actually how to find the effective length using the s4100 approach and uh, in order to do that we're going to firstly look at the different column and member connections including uh, translational and rotational restraints now remember effective length is very important when we're trying to solve for our slenderness factor which is here the le is what we're after after we can find le we can find our slenderness factor uh, and then our alpha c and then once we do find that we can find our member capacity and going back effective length in, in terms of compression buckled shape is the length between the points of inflection in a buckled shape we do this so that we can make comparative um, judgments so when we have firstly we look at the one on the left this is the one we've encountered mostly we've assumed our length is fully effective in our cases uh, however that may not always be true so for the connection on the left uh, it's a braced connection meaning that there's no translational movement between the top connection and the bottom connection so they will always be in line and the top and bottom are pinned and pinned so in this case our length is actually fully effective so the full length is actually an effective length on the right is also another braced connection However, this time around, only the top is pinned and the bottom is fixed. Now you can see that when there's a load applied, uh, if I can draw that. So if there's another load applied, and uh, the deflected shape will be.